Hey guys, it's Pepper14 checking back in with you. So, um, been thinking about some stuff on uh, fishing. If you ever get stranded out in the woods or shit hit the fan situation, how would you be able to keep um, some fishing some fishing supplies in a small compact area in your bug out bag or in your vehicle and put it to good use? Um, I do a lot of fishing, spend a lot of my time in the streams, uh, when the river banks, catfishing. So today, <clears throat> I put together a uh, little thing. It's actually in a skull can. Uh, skull cans, you know, very small, compact, light, very light. So I want to show you guys what I put in there today. So if I would get stranded, I don't have a fishing pole. I'm hungry. I want to catch something to eat. Fishing's a very easy way of catching food, protein, and everything. So uh, <clears throat> what I've included, here it is. What I've included in my uh, little skull can here, I call it the tack and go, tack and go, due to the fact that uh, I got 50 feet of fishing line. I've also included, uh oh, drop something. Oh. I also included a small trout bobber. Oh. Uh, you're also thinking, well, how are you going to get a fire going if you ain't got no uh, nothing to start a fire with to cook your fish over, to uh, cook them up, to eat them, and it's pouring the rain down, you ain't got no way to start a fire? Well, guess what? In my kit, I've included a wax cotton ball that burns up to 20 minutes for waterproof. They're pretty fancy. you got to go to the um, two more preppers or the prepper 14 to check them out. Um, See how cool they are when uh, they burn, even in the snow, they burn. Uh, how are you going to cook your fish? I've also included a razor blade. If in case you don't have your bug out bag with a knife or you forgot your knife on your side, there is a razor blade in here to gut the fish, clean them out good, get them going over fire. <clears throat> um, I've also included in my tack and go kit. I ain't going to grab them all, but. I put six strike anywhere matches. You can strike them off of any uh, rough surface, a rock, anything to get a good fire going. And the cotton ball, you get a good fire going, you can take your cotton ball, put it out, put it back in the skull can, and uh, good to use again and again and again, over and over again. Um, I'm not going to dig them out, but I put, I think, 10, ten sinkers. I uh, do got one decent sized fish hook. I put three medium size and two very small for trout. Um, you know you're in the wilderness, you can use uh, worms, insects, bugs, trout love all that. Uh, if you're fishing in small streams, rivers, even ponds, uh, trout, rock bass, uh, sunfish, bluegill, they're all in there. They will tear up worms. Um, if you have a small can of corn on you in your bug out bag, whip your can of corn out, whip your P35 out, open the can up, put some corn on, and you'll be able to catch some good fish. And then you can have fish and corn at the same time. So you're getting two meals in one. So, um, yeah, pretty fancy little kit I made today. I'm going to put one in my truck and my uh, center console. I'm going to put one in my bug out bag and, uh, I think I'm going to start selling some of them. I know I got a couple people local that was asking me to make them and make a video on them on YouTube. And uh, I think I'm going to start selling them probably for about five or six bucks a piece. You get all this stuff. It's, it's a really good uh, deal, I think. If you get in any kind of uh, bad situation. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to, uh, when the weather breaks, I am going to do a uh, good video on how it would work coming handy out in the uh, wilderness. So. You guys keep an eye out. If you are interested, let me know. Comment, like, share, subscribe. And like I said, I call it, it's my own tack and go. So, alright YouTube, you guys be safe out there. Keep on prepping and good night.